Hey, it's Mike, and Nano Dimensions took us for quite a ride yesterday. It is up at the end of the day over 14%, up to 573 An incredible run for a company that just a couple of days ago really just let us all down with that direct public offering at $4 a share. Well, it didn't stay at that nearly $4 level for long. In fact, the day uh, the direct offering at $4 was announced, it fought its way back up to 460 and then moved its way up over five, dipped a little bit under five, but then today it just rocketed up. Like I've always said, when these stocks, these sub $5 stocks are able to close above $5, they just begin to power upward. And now, uh, another dimension is at 573, and that's not far off from 586, where it closed at its peak before the direct, uh, direct offering. Now, you should be aware there's one more direct offering that's going to happen possibly before the end of the year. I don't know what price it is. Someone in the comment section told me it was going to be at $5, which sounds kind of reasonable because the first direct offering was at $3. The second one was at $4. So it might kind of make sense if the final one's at $5. Uh, but if the final direct offering goes like the other two have gone, the stock will drop down to around the $5 level and then quickly work its way back up. So if you're not in the stock right now, maybe you hold off and wait for that direct offering to come out and catch that stock at the dip. Now, you may be wondering, um, you know, how long will it last down there? Well, this last um, this last direct offering, Nano Dimensions was only knocked down for a day. And with the first direct offering, it was only knocked down for two days. So you definitely want to act quickly if you're going to hold out and wait for that direct offering to literally grab this stock the day it dips. And like I said, I think it's, I don't, no one said when exactly it's going to happen. We just know it's going to happen. I, it's probably going to happen before the end of the year is my prediction. So definitely keep your eye on nano dimensions. Like I said, maybe you don't want to buy right now. Wait for that dip. But going forward, I think this is a company that will most certainly move higher. They're in a great industry. They are a maker of 3D print. They create 3D printers that allow you to 3D print components for a lot of high-tech companies. So they're in a disruptive company, and this company should definitely move a lot higher. I could definitely see it double and become a billion-dollar company in 2021. So that's my update for Nano Dimensions. If I learn anything else, I'll definitely give you an intraday update. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock train strategies. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.